हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्लूवियल लैंड फॉर्म्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वॉट आर दीज लैंड दीज आर द लैंड फॉर्म्स फॉर्म बाई द डिपोजिशनल एंड इरोजनल वर्क ऑफ रिवर्स सो रिवर्स और रनिंग सर्फेस वॉटर आर द एजेंट्स ऑफ इरोजन हेयर सो सम एक्शन आर परफॉर्म बाई दीज एजेंट्स ऑफ इरोजन बाई विच दीज फीचर्स आर फॉर्म सो दीज एक्शन आर एट्रेशन अब्रेशन हाइड्रोलिक एक्शन एंड कोरोजन then uh, first we should know what are these so attrition is the wearing down of load or alluvium as the rocks and pebbles hit the river bed then abrasion is the mechanical scraping of rock surface by friction between rocks and moving particles during the transport then uh, hydraulic action is the breaking away of river bed and banks by sheer force of water getting into small cracks Uh, then corrosion is the chemical action in which water dissolves minerals from the rocks and washes them away so there are two types of landforms formed by the rivers first is depositional landforms and next is the erosional landforms so on the depositional we have alluvial fans alluvial cones natural levees delta and flood plains and under erosional landforms we have river valleys waterfalls potholes terraces gully or rills meanders oxbow lakes and penny plain so first we will discuss depositional landforms first one we have is alluvial fan when a river descends down the slope of the mountain it carries a lot of load with itself so it deposits its load in the form of a fan near the uh, tarai or the foothill of the mountain and it forms a apron kind of thing so i'm showing here this apron of alluvial fan it forms a fan shaped feature so th this is why it is called a alluvial fan next we have the image showing the alluvial fan in rocky mountain national park so here we can see this is the mountain slope and here we we have the alluvial fan this is the apron of the alluvial fan we can see here so next we have alluvial cone so when the stream's velocity decreases due to low gradient it sheds a lot of material near the foothill uh, the material which it carries it's a coarser alluvium uh, this is coarser than the alluvial fan material so that is why it's a bit different from alluvial fan and uh, its slope is average slope is 15 degrees it acquires a conical shape where it gets deposited that is why it is called all alluvial cone so here we have alluvial cone of death valley california next we have natural levees these are na narrow belt of ridges of low heights so these are narrow belt of sediment on either sides of the streams these are the natural protection against floods and uh, here we can see these are the natural levees built up after many floods you can see here these are the natural protector from floods from uh, when these river streams flow above its level so next we have the delta delta is the region where a stream meets the sea or a, or a lake basically it meets uh, a sea uh, this is the place where it drains itself so here we can see it's triangular in shape and it's denoted by the fourth greek alphabet this is the fourth greek alphabet it forms in the mouth of the stream so this is the main stream and these are the distributary channels of the stream this is the shoreline and this region where it meets the sea is the delta here its load capacity decreases and it deposits all the loads here so all the alluvium is deposited here at the mouth next we have types of river delta we have basically we have four types so first one is arcuate or fan shape this is the stream and when this stream deposits its 
uh, alluvium or sorry uh, this stream gets divided into these distributary channels and this forms a convex outer round margin and it's the nose of fan so uh, this stream meets the ocean or lake in fan shape so this is the fan shape delta you can see here we can see uh, river nile delta and river ganges delta it's of the same kind so next we have birds food delta birds food delta from name itself we can say that it represents the foot of bird so when distributaries bounded by sediments extend out into sea like claws of a bird foot it's known as the bird's foot delta so mississippi river delta is an example of this bird foot delta next we have caspe delta it forms uh, basically it forms near the straight coastline so we can see this is a straight coastline and this is the stream here sediments get deposited equally on matlab not 50 50 like it's uh, more or less equal on both both the sides so here we can see the sediment deposits uh this uh, this region is normally covered during the sea water during the high tide and it's dry during the low tide here we can see an example of river ebro of spain uh, this area is submerged in water during high tide and this area is revealed during the low tide here this is the sediment deposit is not exact 50 50 deposit but more or less it's a equal deposition next we have estuaries here the fresh river water meets the salty uh, sea water and it forms marshes you can see here marshes are formed so it is formed normally because of a drowned valley or because of rise in sea level so here we can see the water is fresh at this point as it goes to the sea it becomes brackish then it becomes saltish uh, this estuaries provide deep sea access or deep water access and are ideal for fishing ports and industries so narmada river delta or tapi river delta can be seen as an example of Uh, this estuary next we have flood plains so as river floods it slow down and loses energy and consequently deposits its load of small and large capacity in form of uh, plains so here we can see uh, that the flood plain is formed you can see here this is the flood plain these are the natural levees and this is the channel so when the uh, uh, river slows down it loses energy so it deposits its alluvium along the sides of the river so every year the river floods it deposits a new layer of flood plain or uh, this is gen normally this is the alluvial soil so thank you in the next video we'll discuss about the erosional features